I want to start a childcare business, but my funds, my money is low and super, super tight. If that is you, this is going to be the video for you because I'm going to talk about how to start a childcare program on a tight budget. Stay tuned to the end. Let's get into it. channel I am super super excited because this is a constant question that I get in our community all the time is um how can I start a child care program and my money is tight it's funny it's all those great good things so if that is you we're definitely going to be diving into that today if you guys don't know a little bit about me obviously I am a child care provider just like many of us all we are around the world and we have two child care based programs but let me tell you something it didn't always start out that way okay so I love to call myself a second generation childcare owner, meaning that my mom started the childcare business in our basement in our home when I was three years old, okay? So I was born and raised in the childcare industry, born and raised in the childcare program, so I've seen it all. Um, so in that space, I'm going to be talking about in this video today how you can start a childcare business on a budget, okay? So one of the first things that I wanna jump into, guys, is if y'all know me on this channel, y'all know I'm gonna keep it real with you. You know, I'm gonna keep it very raw with you because A, we ain't starting nothing in this space for free, okay? There is tight, nothing in this world come easy and nothing in this world come free. So I know for a fact that I'm definitely maybe like, oh my God, I can't start it for free. No, I'm gonna be right, right honest and very transparent. But there are things that you can do to begin to start a childcare business on a budget or what you can plan to do so you can use other people's money as you are in that space of starting a childcare business. So I wanna make sure that I have to throw that disclaimer out there just because I know that there's so many people that wanna start childcare businesses, but one of the first things I have to say is that guys, we have to accept reality in this space, especially in this economy, especially in inflation. Everything is up and stuck right now, okay? So one of the first things I wanna talk about is you really, really want to figure out the first rule of thumb that I tell anybody that want to start a childcare business. The first rule of thumb is we have to shift our mindset. And I know we're like, oh my gosh, shift your mindset. That's not nothing that I need to start a childcare business. Oh, but yes, it is. Because if you have no money or you barely are living check to check or you're on an extremely tight budget, we need to begin to figure out it's not that I don't have no money. You need to shift your mindset and shift your thoughts on how can I get that money. And truth be told, you're really not going to know how much money you need until you do your first due diligence and that's figuring out what type of child care program you want to start right so once you decide on what type of child care program you want to open you want to think to yourself like okay i really don't have that much money so what size of a program do i want do i want a super large center that may be anything over 50 children do i want a medium-sized child care program that's what we are our child care programs are licensed for 34 children do i want to be in a medium 20 to 40 or do I want to be a family-based childcare provider, right? So all three of those type of childcare programs, whether it's family, group, or center-based, require a different type of budget. And so if you are a person that wants to start a childcare business and your coins is low, you may want to be starting on the smaller side, okay? So one of the things that I talk about in my childcare side, of course, is guys, it is okay to start small, right? So the same way that we know that we may have a starter home, right? We always see people say, oh, I want to get my first home. That first home that you get may not be your lifelong dream home. It's the same thing like a business. The first business that you start may not be your lifelong dream childcare program, right? So I shared it to say that the first thing you want to think about is ask yourself what type of childcare program I want to start. And if you barely got no money and you don't really got no funding, then we obviously need to be starting in a space of small. That's the first rule of thumb. Second rule of thumb, you want to go into your basic state's website. Every single state has one. You want to go to your basic state website and say, okay, what are the requirements? Every single state has, you need to do this, 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 and this to start a childcare business. Simple, right? And you may think that. So you want to go to your child, you want to go to your state regulations website because that's the Bible. You want to go there and figure out exactly what do I need to start needing to pass that initial inspection. And then you create your budget from there. Okay. So as you are creating your budget from there, you may see in your license and regulatory compliance in that space that you may need certain appliances. Um, you may need a certain amount of square footage. You will need play material. You will need all type of furniture in the kitchen and 
the classrooms and everywhere in between that building. So then you begin to lay out your budget. And that's really where a great business plan comes into place, guys, because so many people like to like skip over the step of business plans. And I'll definitely make sure um, that at the end of this video that I tag one of our how to create your child care business plan um, that I did somewhere in this video. I'll make sure I put it at the end or somewhere on the screen here. But you really, really want to check out writing that business plan, right? Because developing that business plan is going to show you what you need in place. Okay, so one of the things I always love to say is if you want to start a childcare business with no money, you need to figure out how can I get access to other funds. So other funds look like grants. Are there grants in my state or are there grants in my industry that's available for startup? Super, super important. Another thing you want to consider is, okay, are there any funds or loans or credit cards or things like that that I'm eligible for in my business? And, and truth be told, I always want to share this, guys. One of the greatest things that you can do is so many people will be like, oh, I don't want to start my business or start my LLC or S Corp, C Corp, whatever you decide, because I don't have an address yet you can get a virtual address, right? And the reason why I share that is because you can apply for any grants, you can not apply for any loans, like you can't apply for funding if the business is not actually formed yet, okay? It's gonna be really, really hard to apply for a grant for a startup business if the actual grant or the business itself is not established. So that's one of the first things I wanna say, guys, is make sure that you establish the business. Like establish the LLC, establish your name, establish who the owners are, get your bylaws, all of those things in order. Because once you do that, then you can see where you fall at in the space of funding. Okay, so once you have your business formed and you have your actual business formation documents, meaning you can walk into a bank and get a business bank account, you can apply for grants, you can apply for loans, you can apply for credit cards. That will be now we're going into this step, okay? So you have your business documents already formed. The second thing I would say, if you wanna start a childcare business with no money is figure out where the funds are, okay? So do your due diligence and research for startups. You are a startup. So figure out what are eligible grants that are available to me in my state or my industry or women-owned minority businesses. Any, There's so many grants for so many different things, okay? And you want to familiarize yourself with the grant process. That's the first thing. The second thing I would say is just like any business, yes, you're going to go into debt as you start that business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, and I'm sure any of my uh, entrepreneurs are not going to sugarcoat it, but yes, you can get available funding to start that business. There are plenty of startup loans, okay? But how can we get a loan if the business is not established? That's why I said rule number one, establish the business on paper first, okay? Even without your location. The second thing you're gonna do is now begin to look up, okay, what credit cards am I eligible for? And in that space of credit cards and or funding, you have to familiarize yourself with how, how am I qualified for this funding, okay? How am I qualified to receive this actual funding? Because many times we stay stuck in our space of wanting to start a childcare business. We're only stuck because we don't got the capital. Okay, so before you figure out your name, your furniture, and your classrooms, and your handbook, and all these things, get into the money. Figure out how you can position yourself to be available to receive those funds. Okay, so now you have your business plan laid out, and you figured out, okay, this is my budget or my startup and how much I need. This is how much it's going to cost me to secure a location. This is how much it's going to cost me to... Um, you know, actually get insurance on this building. This is how much my budget is going to cost for the startup. Maybe you have found a building that was already a daycare center. I talk about that a lot in my childcare startup course. Maybe you may have found the building that needs a complete renovation. We're talking about a different budget there. So I always say you want to minimize your expenses as much as possible. And that's going to take me into utilizing some of your existing resources that you already have, right? So some of your existing resources may be you really want to start this child care program but you have absolutely no money whatsoever to get a building like getting a building right now and this ever for you is completely out of your room so if you know that that's something that is completely out of your space because you can't afford all that comes with the building that is perfectly fine right but what you need to be okay with this is saying okay am i going to be a family provider maybe for a year or two just so i can actually start this business even starting that that's why it's so important again to check your state regulations because your state regulations may say hey we're not licensing child care programs in the basement at this time 
Zona may very well be saying that. Trust me. I know. It's happened. Okay? So you really, 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 really want to figure out your budget in your startup space. And once you figure out your budget in your startup space, that's when you begin to think to yourself like, okay, I know I can get some money from some credit cards. I know I have some money from some investors. I know I may have, you know, some of my savings. I know that I may can pull from my 401k. I know that I might have somewhat good credit. And I've already talked to banks and they said this is the minimum credit score that I need in order to acquire a loan either in my personal name and or in my business name or acquire a credit card in my personal name and or in my business name. But it all really boils down to looking at your existing resources and what you already can work with. Work with what it is you actively have in front of you. I'm not going to be that person that's going to tell you here on this YouTube channel, hey, Start your business, get funded in 24 hours, get your building, and you can be up and running in six months. Let me tell you something. I am not going to be able to tell you that because at the end of the day, everything is situational and everybody's startup journey is different. And that is one of the biggest things that I talk about is it's okay to start small, right? We grow into our dreams. We grow into our vision, but do not allow wanting to start this super large childcare program if that's something you super largely want to start, then you better be having a super large bank account or a super large startup budget to be able to make that vision come true, okay? It's okay to start small. It's okay to smart start. I've seen so many times, um, I've had a lot of clients in our child care startup program say, hey, look, I got about, you know, 15000 for a child care program to get started, but I really know that I don't have the finances to get into that. So I may say, hey, look, you need to go back to your finances and figure out, okay, maybe I need to get a second job. Maybe I need to Lyft. Maybe I need to Uber. Maybe I need to tutor. I've had a client myself particularly start tutoring in that space to bring in more things. Be okay with knowing that I may need to do one thing. Like It's almost like a baby step. I may need to do pre-A step before I can actually do step A. Okay, so you want to begin to plan properly because that will really help your startup process that much more easier. One of the reasons why I always say in the other space of startup, in that space of starting a childcare program, starting small is because it's so much easier to work with smaller numbers. Like you may say, okay, I know for a fact I got access to 5,000 off the top. So I know that I really need to get my hands on 15,000. I might can't get my hands on 15,000 all in one lump, but I might can get 4,000 from here, another 5,000 from there. I'm okay with getting credit cards for here. But you really, 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 if you don't do anything else before you sign a document, sign a lease, anything like that, do your due diligence and your research to learn what it takes from A to Z to actually start the childcare business. And that is exactly why I created the Childcare Startup University course because I lay out all the inspections between license and inspection, health department, and then the actual state. I go through all of the things that you need to start a childcare business, no matter whether you're family or center, so you can get an idea. Like, I'd rather take a course or learn or make a small investment before I be like, okay, I'm gonna jump out there and do all of this, and I had no idea that I needed X, Y, and Z because I'm so caught up in just the fact that I wanna start a childcare business. Do your research, that's super, super important prior to you making a big financial commitment. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the space of utilizing your community resources. Okay, and I'm gonna say it again. Now I wanna talk about the space of utilizing your community resources. Go in, get affirmed with what's going on in that community, what's going on in your city. I've talked to so many clients and I love that. I love that Educated Minds is just like uh, nationwide in that space because I've talked to so many clients and there's some states that literally have a full grant for startups. There's some states that have no grants for startups. There's some states that give you a courtesy inspection. There's some states that don't give you a courtesy inspection. So familiarize yourself with what's going on in the childcare industry in your state, in your city, in your um, bureau, you know, in your community, because that's always going to be. You can have some programs that they have grants for startup in these particular industries, right? So you really want to get on those email lists. You really want to subscribe. You really want to show up for those webinars. When you see, um, like prime example, when you see small business um, association that say they have webinars, get on the webinar. Don't be like, oh, I'm not going to do it yet because I'm not already there. Educate your mind. 
hello okay educate your mind on what's going on so you could position yourself it's all about positioning yourself and planning things out over a period of time so yes i'm gonna say you can definitely you know start a child care business am i gonna say you can start a child care business without no money i'm gonna say no you can't start a child care business without no money because at the end of the day we need money to grow. We need money to start. You need money to secure a building. You need money to market. You need money to have a website. You need money to pay for your inspection uh, application through the state. So yes, you're going to need some level of money, but I think the one of the biggest things that people get stuck on is just the simple space that I have no money. No, it's not that you have no money. You're not looking at what the resources are. And more importantly, you're not getting into a coaching group. You're not educating your mind on YouTube. You're not going to a startup you know start a business webinar in your state or your city educate your mind network okay get out of your bubble get out of your space because no doesn't always mean no but i will tell you that you need to begin to collaborate you need to begin to network and you need to get out there especially if you do not have access to the funds okay and last but not least i'm going to be one guys i'm going to say it to you right here on this channel Please make sure that as you start your childcare business, the number one thing that I'm going to say in starting a childcare business with little money is, guys, we got to leverage credit. Okay? Remember back in the day, it was like, oh, um, cash is king and all that. Let me tell you something. As you go into this era, as we grow into this space of the con economy, guys, credit is going to be on your side. Okay? You want to make sure that you have good to fair credit so that you can get the extra funding that you need to start your business but i also want to make sure that i highlight so important in this video guys there is a difference between startup capital and there's a difference between operational capital okay so familiarize yourself with all of the startup grants familiarize yourself with all of the startup loans position your credit position your building position your balances get rid of some of the debt you may have debt from college bring that down you may have debt from your utilization bring that down okay so those are some of the ways that you can leverage obviously starting a child care program is going through grants and getting credit cards and or getting loans and yes you may be that person that has to be a personal guarantor on that loan in order for you to secure it it's a natural part of business right so you want to make sure that you position your credit because funding is going to help you in that space of growing your business okay so hopefully this video helped you guys i will say i'm always one to say there is where there's a will there's definitely a way but you got to be realistic with yourself and say okay i'm gonna start small i'm gonna start small because of x y and z this is going to be my startup budget okay this is what i i give or take because ain't nothing never set in stone you you may said fifteen thousand was your startup budget and when you look up you're gonna be at 25 it's just a part of starting a business like we we go over you know so but i will say if you have absolutely no money whatsoever the best thing that you can do is educate your mind the second best thing that you can do is actually form your llc so that you can have it because the moment you form the llc that's when the clock starts ticking on how long your business has you know actively been in business the other thing that you can do is begin to familiarize yourself with grants get on grant websites subscribe to those you know different platforms they give out grants so you can get those notifications when things open and last but not least get your credit right great credit will put you in doors that you never saw possible great credit will definitely put you in positions that you didn't even think that was available to you it kind of helps expedite the process a little bit but with comes credit also comes debt so make sure that in that business plan okay make sure you check out that video that i had on business plan that you figure out how you're generating cash flow in this business so that you can begin to pay back the debt that you're going to begin in your startup journey Hopefully this video has been good for you guys. Comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you know when I'm dropping a brand new video. And more importantly, leave me something down in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And until next time.